Ottawa, a 9-4 scoreline, made Canada proud in Wednesday morning's round-robin win over South Korea at the Men's World Curling Championship. Based in St. John's track struggled at times, but still benefited from misses from Byung Jin Jong's side in a game that ended after Canada's 4.8th finish. With big matches being played against United States, Scotland and Sweden over next few days, Canada will need to get its game in second half of schedule at TD Place. It was a bit of a step back, Gus Hugh said. First morning game of the week. Maybe we're a little dazed. We had some implementation errors that we couldn't blame on the ice or rocks. It was human error. If we can fix this, we'll be fine. Gus Hugh and leader Jeff Walker had strong percentages, but his deputy Mark Nichols and runner-up EJ Honden, they were both in the mid-70s. Meanwhile, Jong struggled with the low 64% of the game. There's been a bit of a learning curve today, said national team coach Jeff Stoughton. It was almost like day one again. Before the match, the rocks were textured. Gus Hugh said venue was noticeably cooler for the morning retreat, adding that ice held up well. We couldn't show our performance in the last two games, he said. We had some zeros and bigger shortcomings there. But we stayed there and continued to apply some pressure. Gus Hugh was light with a draw in the fourth end, but still took a steal when South Korea's double-take attempt stuck. Jong had two chances in the fifth round, but when the draw was low, he settled for one. They were just bad shots. Jong missed the angle on a field goal in the sixth end, giving Gus Hugh a clear draw for three points. South Korea took a duo back, but Jong's kick and roll was eighth, allowing Canada to draw by four points. The Canadians, currently fourth-placed 5-2 with Bruce Mowat of Scotland, would play the evening's 2018 Olympic champion USA's John Schuster. We took a step back this morning, no doubt about it, Stoughton said. But hopefully tonight, we'll start back on the top, get more comfortable on the ice and rocks, everything will be fine. Instead of seeing everyone getting better, you want to see everyone getting better. Norway's Magnus Ramfjell defeated Sweden's Niklas Eden 8-7 in overtime. This left both teams in a 6-1 first-place draw with Yannick Schwaller of Switzerland. The top six teams on the 13-team field will qualify for the weekend playoffs. The top two seeds say goodbye to the semi-finals. New Zealand's Anton had won his first win by beating German 6-10, Totsek 11-8.